focusing on salah and khushu. How can I obtain that? Al Maghrib Institute presents Q&A with Sheikh Yasser Burjas. So many people who are already alhamdulillah, they do their salah regularly. They complain about the same thing over and over again. How can I focus on my salah? Why am I not benefiting from my salah? Can I close my eyes if I need to focus on my salah and so on? These questions are related to the subject of khushu. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in Surah Al-Mu'minun, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ Success for other believers, those when they pray, they have khushu on their salah. What does that exactly mean? You see, everybody communicates, but few people connect. If you don't connect in your salah, you won't benefit from the relationship between you and Allah Azza wa Jal. Which is why people, they say, I've been praying for 10, 15 years. I don't see the benefit in my life. Because maybe you're lacking the connectivity, not the connection itself, not the communication itself. And Allah says, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Success for all the believers, those when they pray, they connect. He didn't say those who pray, because it's already implied in the title, Success for all the believers. So they should pray. But what's wrong with their prayer? It's not connecting because we don't have that khushur. Khushur or con- connection and focusing on salah is very, very um- important. How do I obtain that? It's not uh, something that you do overnight, but with practice you'll be able to adapt inshallah and achieve it with Allah Azza wa Jal. There are certain things needs to be done before you start your salah, like, you know, um, preparing ahead of time, uh, dressing up nicely to it, finding a nice space for that, and, and, and going away from distraction and so on. And then things you need to observe when you make your salah, when you start your salah, like focusing on what you recite, looking down, you know, the position of sujood and so on, and many other things that you do in salah to keep you focused. And then there are things you need to do after you're done from your salah, like making your adhkar, your tasbih and so on, so you stay in the spirit of salah for as long as you can. By doing so, you obtain, inshallah ta'ala, uh, al-khushu' that you're looking for, the one that is missing from your salah. But inshallah, in divine link class, bin Allah will mention that in details, bin Allah azza wa jal. The question many people ask, can I close my eyes in order to focus in my salah? Well, it's the perfect way is that you look in the position of sujood. That's what the son of the Prophet ﷺ was. So as much as you can, you keep doing that, inshallah. But if there is no way to focus, you know, other than just closing your eyes, in this case, Ibn Qayyim, rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentioned that, you know what, if this is the only way a person would have khushu', khushu' is more important than keeping your eyes open. So in this case, I would say yes. I don't recommend that though because you need to battle these thoughts inshallah ta'ala but if this is the only way you do it then you could do it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you khushu' on your salah that you will enjoy it bin Allah azza wa jal on a regular basis. Wallahu ta'ala alam.